Hi, I'm Jamie Flinchpaw, and welcome to the next installment of your Purposeful and Productive Life short course. Now we're going to talk about goals. We've had a chance to manage our time, gain control of our time and how we spend it through time leadership. Now we're going to talk about how to set some goals. Now, there's a, a common phrase out there called SMART goals, which is commonly taught. It often shows up as a bullet in almost any performance management system. And I honestly don't believe in them. First of all, when you ask half the people that put the bullet on a slide what SMART stands for, you get 10 different answers. Most people, even if you Google it, you'll find numerous different answers. And some of it really just doesn't make a lot of sense as far as guidelines. Either it's too obvious where if you can't meet that criteria, like making it relevant. If you can't set a relevant goal, then, then we have to go back. It's not an acronym uh, problem. It's, it's a bigger problem. Um, and others like simply the S, which is be specific. Well, if you make it measurable and time bound, you've made it specific. So job done. And those are the only two I really care about. Making it measurable and making it time bound. Putting a time date on it, and making sure that you can really evaluate whether you've achieved success in that goal. Now, some goals are very binary. You've either achieved it or you haven't, uh, in which case how you measure it over time might be the series of tasks you lay out and percent completion. Uh, it may simply be that it is binary and you have to keep plugging along until you get over that hurdle. Others, you can manage your progress or measure your progress along the way. Now, other questions that I like to capture uh, when I'm setting my goals that I ask myself, one is the purpose. What's the why behind the goal? No, why are you going to benefit? Why is this goal important to you? Not just to the organization, not just to the team, but why is it important to you? Why do you care about it when you wake up in the morning? Uh, if it's not important, it's just going to slide. And that's fine if you're not working on things that aren't important. Uh, that's okay that it slides. Just don't set a goal. Make sure you know your why. I also like to know what, what barriers I have to overcome, what skills, knowledge, or, or capability I need to gain, I can learn and develop in order to achieve it. Um, I also like to ask who can help me? Who can I get help from along the way? Now, most importantly, as you once you start setting your goals, you need to break it down into actionable steps. Most people make the mistake of dropping into their goals at a low cadence. And what this means is that they do a whole bunch of work that's not related to their goals, and then they go back to their goals and try to you know, get refocused. And then they do a whole bunch of work that's not related to their goals again. So the important thing is to have a high enough cadence that you can continue each week to make progress on your goals. So start by just capturing the three next steps. What are the next steps you need to do and put those next steps on your to-do list, whatever that is, and we'll talk about that in next week. Make sure that you've made the goals tactical. Break it down into actions, not a whole bunch of things you need to do, but some specific next steps that you can put on your to-do list, just like you're picking up the dry cleaning. So here's your assignment. Write at least one goal. Make sure that it's measurable, that you can determine it's successful. Make sure that you know when you want to achieve it by, and absolutely make sure you know why you want to achieve it. Then break that goal down into three next steps that you can go take and go put those on whatever you use for a to-do list before we talk about that more next week. That's your assignment. We'll see you again next week. Thank you.